I think that there were uh, overall, you know, in all the Congress, very good presentations, particularly in the topic of myeloma. Uh, we had a, a review of the key data that we have in the um, with CARTIS in the treatment of multiple myeloma, and also some of the let's say. Um, biological parameters or baseline factors that will allow us also to predict a prognosis to CAR T cell therapy in different patients. So the presentation that uh, Dr. Jakub Abba um, did about yeah some of the predictors of response uh, that were analysis of the karma study i think that this is very uh, relevant uh, so number of lymphocytes prior therapy so i think it's very important to to send the message that prior alkylator therapy uh, is not good uh, before aphoresis for CAR T because that impacts negatively the fitness of the T cells and, and some of these um, um, aspects I think are very, are very relevant. Uh, also the presentation that uh, Dr. Uh, Fernandez Larrea about the academic CAR T I think is a very important one uh, for, for various reasons. First because of the efficacy of the product itself and the good safety profile particularly with with, without any significant neurological complications in, in the RE022H trial, and also because it's one academic effort and, and and he has beautifully shown that we are able to work um, uh, as a, you know, in a multi-center approach with different hospitals manufacturing uh, um, the CAR T and that uh, uh, with a, a good uh, quality of the product and a good clinical efficacy. So I will highlight uh, these, these aspects.